Okay. Can I get past this Goomba without a fight? No, I cannot. All right. But at least Kamek didn't show up this time. Welcome back, everybody. We are going to muck up a Goomba. I really kind of don't like how the mushrooms are forced at the end. So now whenever Kamek shows up, it's just you're guaranteed to be screwed up by the uh, mushrooms that are at the bottom. All right, since I know what these guys do. He's dead. And he's definitely dead. I like the concept of the spiked hat, but it's so niche because it's like, who's attacking you from above? You kind of need to learn a, an attack pattern or two. I'm almost sad that I had to, I got to avoid that. Oh, well, I'm going to be forced to fight all these guys because they are definitely not moving. Oh, well. Uh, let's try this three worn out jump. Why not? Like I need this. They're Goombas. Theoretically speaking, they should die to almost anything. Which they do. One jump for each of them. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't know why I've been saying that so much in this playthrough. Alright, well let me guess. I'm not going to be able to get past this other one, am I? Wait a minute. Oh, it's just broken. Are you kidding me? And of course, you're again. Why are you here so much? Mm. Great. I can't see what any of my cards are. All right, let's find out what this is, I guess. Yeah, that definitely could have been worse. Yeah, well, I don't know any of my other cards, so... No, you know what, one at a time. Okay, well, at least I know I'm in an area that's kind of relatively safe. Not funny. This is not a color splash funny moment. Okay, well at least I at least I managed to get lucky and just hit up all my uh, worn out hammers. But seriously, Kamek is starting to get on my nerves already. This is exactly why I hate that guy. Nice and easy, eh? Kind of. Um, see, I find it so funny that these accordion Goombas are easier to avoid than the standard enemies that are just blocking the path. Alright, well we got out of there. That's, that's the best part. But, now there's a lot to do here. I'll go back down there in a second because I'm going to have to. Because when I step on this thing, these shy guys will not let me go. And I'll have to fight these guys too. Again, I'm not really, I'm not really happy that this was the workaround for no one wants to fight in pointless battles by just forcing you into them. Like... So many mandatory fights that don't matter. It just, that bothers me so much about this game. I didn't need the five worn out hammers, did I? Oh well. Again, like I said, it's not like I'm going to need these anywhere else either. I would like to be painting these things, but I have to fight these guys to get them out of the way. So much annoyance. Get out of here.
Did that guy seriously just restore all of his health by sucking out the red paint in me? No, oh, I ain't having that. If I had known, I would have used another worn out hammer. Or I would have been, like, honestly, the hammers are just so good for having their area of effect damage, but I'm so bad at them. Give me my red paint back, you little, you little stinker. Yeah, I might as well. Okay, then. So this already offers up a pretty nice large issue. Okay, well, I'm going to need to jump on this guy first. So let's worn out jump. No, let's go with a three worn out hammer. This should do it. You're pretty durable, aren't you? You're gonna do that too, eh? All right, fine. If you want to play that game, you're gonna get it, big guy. You're getting, you're getting the ten stall. I don't need to do this, but we're doing it anyway. Don't mess with a Mario, or me for that matter. Give me back my little. Oh, well, he did not spit out a lot of yellow paint, so. That guy got away with it. Not too happy about that. Hmm. Alright, so now, theoretically speaking, no problems. Hey, I got my hop slipper back. Oh, there's also blocks here. Big hammer, sure. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Hello, gentle. Hello, gentle sir. We overheard that you've been. You're looking for the big paint star. We are too. May I ask who you might be? Perhaps we could search for the big paint star together. Hello. <laughs> Big large paint star. Have you seen one? <laughs> Me, Morton. I absolutely love this. He is so far behind on this conversation. I don't think Huey understands that his five brain cells can't comprehend past one part of the, the uh, conversation. Calm down, Huey. Mario? Mario! <laughs> no pain star for DeMario! Bam! Waiting for that. <laughs> I have been waiting for that moment. Meow. Mm. I'm gonna have to do some work on this one. Well worth it. All right. Do I... I'm pretty sure I have some line jumps in here. There we are. Uh, for good measures... Uh, let's throw in a worn out hammer. Just in case, you know. I have a feeling I won't really need to resort to it. Yeah, the line jump was enough. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh, the other shy guy was not a part of that crowd. Oh, perfect. I'm going to hit this just in case. All right. So the broken bits line up to a little bit of a staircase shape. So we do this. Ah. 
I don't really see how this is wholeheartedly necessary, and I still don't exactly understand the logic behind all this. Like, why can't Huey just float me up there? How on earth am I able to stand on this cutout section? What part, like, is that even a part of a dimension? What dimension is that? Where on earth are we? Oh, hey, we're here. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is all, this, this, that was it. All right. So now we're going to fight Morton. Morton, find Pain Star. Bad Mario, find Pain Star. But Morton, find it more. More Mortons. More tons. Morton, crush Mario. Bad. Let's go, big guy. I've been waiting for this moment. I do love me a good Koopaling tussle. Morton strong. Morton more tons. Oh, you got a hammer too. Bring me pedal stool. I absolutely love this absolute dumbass. This guy did not pass school at slight in the slightest. Morton on pedal stool. Look now, Morton's safe here. I'm also going to assume that on account of the, uh, you know, pedal stool, we're not going to be able to jump on him while he's in his shell. So what we need to do is we're going to fire flower those uh, shy guys and then we're going to KO hammer the um, pedal stool. Yes, I'm calling it a pedal stool. Morton did it. And it's funny. Nothing and nothing yet. But then, there we go. High place broke. Morton does not. Mor Morton does not have the high ground anymore. Low place scary. Guy has a giant hammer and he resorts to using his shell. All right, this is where we do some big fat damage to old Morton here. So, what I would like to do is break out the big guns. That's a bad idea. You know what? Now we're doing it anyway. This is a playthrough. We gotta make this fun. I am bra Oh, wait a minute. Even better, we got a big jump. I feel safer with that. Uh, sure, why not? Three worn out jumps too. Let's do some big damage to Morton here. That was not big. That was kind of big. This th this three worn out jump business is a little bit ridiculous. I get four jump attacks in one turn. You're trying to tell me this guy wants more tons? Oh, he's going for the hammer now. Ow. Okay, I didn't block. I don't think I blocked that. Do I have anything else that requires less? Oh, I have, you know what? Screw it. Six worn out jumps, big guy. Let's go. I'm making you break out your ace real fast. That had to have been the most repetitive thing I've ever done. Ah, I'm pretty bad at guarding that. Morton is fired. How can you fire yourself? Oh, this is where he's doing the thing now. So, yeah, uh, this is really... Yes, the hammer's on fire. But, like, are you in the moment where you're really going to be taking the uh, time to think that you have a fire extinguisher in your inventory? Because, yeah, this is exactly what the fire extinguisher is for. And if you don't do something about it, he will freaking kill you. Uh, speaking of him not killing me, let's use a mushroom for good, uh, for extra measure. I'm half health, so. Let, why, we might as well. Oh my goodness, that's way too overpowered for this early in the game. Who else remembers when, um, mushrooms only restored 5 HP? No, I don't have the action command here. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure it was when the, um... The pin was pulled, but this will douse, not, I don't think this will do more than just douse, yeah, no, it did more than douse the fire, it just broke his hammer entirely. <laughs> fire broken? 
Mallet gone. Just stick. Eat stick! Yeah, despite his bulk and brawn, apparently the moment you reduce his hammer to nothing more than a stick, it do nothing. Let's KO hammer him. Maybe this will do. And if it doesn't, well, we'll just hit him with something else. That did it. That, that did it. Morton. Morton lose. Bad Mario get pain star. Master Mortar, oh, Master Order Morton. Say go get pain star. Morton? More like Leston. <laughs> Freaking Morton dialogue. Oh, okay. I think I've had my fun. I've had my fun. I'm definitely, I'm going to have to edit this one. I've made a promise to me, myself on this episode. Again, just another item that has virtually no use in this game other than to just be an attack that you find. This will, I don't think we'll need. Alright. Let's take it. Let's take it and get out of here more. Uh, Huey. I was about to say Morton again. I love, like, that's a really nice texture on that thing. Really big and shiny. Yeah, so this is where, so we fly all the way around. And we're going to, the, finding the big red paint star will drop paint all over the gate. And it will color the gate in so that we don't have to. Not like we could because we can't reach all the way up there. Which begs the question of, how on earth did anything else manage to get that high up to drain the paint? Not even a single coin out of that? Come on. Thing was, that thing had to have been worth a lot. Let's be real. Alright. Well, and this is where this is where we get absolutely no story details. Not like there is any story details. The shy guys are sucking big paint paint out for somebody, and we all know that someone is Bowser. Paint Star can talk. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to, again, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't get any story details out of this. We already saw the shy guy sucking paint out. Oh, and look, of course, Bowser. What a surprise. Like, big shocker. Okay, well, I will admit... No, actually, I'm actually even more confused. Bowser ordered Morton to go and get the paint stars. But he was the one who flung them out there in the first place. Why did he not just take them with him? If anything, Bowser would have been completely unstoppable if he didn't fling the paint stars. Because the paint stars left the little ones to go and find them. So, again... Bowser just made, like, this game is built on these massive plot holes. Yeah, he just threw them, but then asked them, asked the Koopalings to go and get them back? Or, again, the Koopalings are guarding them. Again, don't know. This game, this game definitely, every bit of story was a definite more of an afterthought than even Sticker Star was. Uh, I have a question. How did they get out of the uh, gate? Yeah, they're going to do this every single time we find a Paint Star, by the way. We'll get, I think we'll get our uh, notable characters for the area. And we'll get some uh, more health. So now we'll have, a, I think we'll have 75. Yeah. Also, you can hit the, um, 
You can hit the red paint star for like an unlimited amount of red paint. Feast your eye. Wait. Oh, hey, look, it's Bowser. Surprise, and he's covered in black paint. Well, at least he talks in this game. Oh, but isn't that the airship we've destroyed? And he's got Peach in tow. What a surprise. Mario, Princess Peach has been kidnapped by Bowser. No one could have predicted this. You, my friend, are the slowest toad I have ever seen. Where have you been the last 30 years? That's, the, I'm going to be 100% real. I'm not, that joke's not even funny. I know I made it sound like it was funny, but it really isn't. This guy is just so out there. Bro's been gone for the last few years. Okay, we're this cutscene took a lot longer than I thought. I, I thought we were going to be done within like 20 minutes or even less. I thought this was going to be a shorter episode. Yeah, I don't really think it takes much to realize where he's going. Like, honestly, it's Bowser. This guy's pretty linear. Alright, well, that'll be it for this episode. Tune in next time where we're going to go to Sunglow Ridge and we're going to start hunting down for the next paint, big paint star, which is going to be the yellow one. So, I will see you guys next time.